In this video, we will be naming polygons and more specifically polygons with three sides and three angles up until polygons with 10 sides and 10 angles. So hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene and let's get started with this video. A polygon is named according to the number of sides and angles it has. For example, let's look at the first shape. Here we have a polygon with three sides and three angles. And this is called a triangle. Here are a few more examples of triangles. All of them look different, but all of them have three sides and three angles. So all of them are triangles. Now let's look at the next shape. This polygon has one, two, three, four sides, and it also has four angles. So four sides and four angles. And I know you would want to call this a square, and it is a square, but a square is a specific type of quadrilateral. So a polygon with four sides and four angles is called a quadrilateral. So we have a few more specific quadrilaterals. The first one is a square, like we said. The second one is a rectangle, a parallelogram, a trapezium, a kite, and a rhombus, and there's a few more. But then we also have other types of quadrilaterals without names, like these two shapes. But all of these shapes have four sides and four angles, and they are quadrilaterals. What about the shape? that has one, two, three, four, five sides and five angles. So they have five sides, five angles, and they are called pentagons. Here are a few more examples of pentagons. And now for a polygon with six sides and also six angles. That is called a hexagon. And here are a few more examples of hexagons. They all have six sides and six angles. And a polygon with seven sides and seven angles. This type of polygon is a heptagon. And again, here are a few more examples of a heptagon. They all have seven sides and seven angles. And now for the next shape. This polygon has eight sides and it also has eight angles. So this is called an octagon. And here are a few more examples of octagons. They all have eight sides and eight angles. This polygon has nine sides and also nine angles. So this is called a nonagon. And here are a few more examples of nonagons. They all have exactly nine sides and nine angles. And for the last polygon we will be talking about today, this polygon has 10 sides and it also has 10 angles. So 10 sides and 10 angles, and this is called a decagon. And here are a few more examples of a decagon. They all have 10 sides and 10 angles. And even though there are polygons with 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on sides and angles, this is where we are stopping in this video. Just like in all my other videos, there will be a free worksheet and memo in the description box below. Just click on the link and you can go and download the worksheet and memo. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.